Hello, Tarot Tribe. It's Tracy. I am back with day 17. Is that right? Yes. Day 17 of Anthony's 31 Days of Tarot. The day 17 prompt is, what is your go-to? Go-to tarot book and why? So, let me show you my go-to tarot book. It is Madame Pamita's Magical Tarot. Uh, using the, the cards to make your dreams come true. Ooh, fancy. Okay, so why is this my go-to tarot book? It is my go-to tarot book because it is simple and to the point. So um, the entire book is tarot meanings. There's pretty much no other fluff in here. Um, 250. Oops. 250 pages of just tarot meanings, card meanings. Um, and so at the beginning of a suit, let's get to the, okay, that's the swords, which is fine. So at the beginning of a suit, she has about a page and a half of an overview of the suits. So this is the swords and there is a page and a half covering the o an overview of the swords. And then she goes into each individual. Well, in this section, the first section she does the ace through the tens. And then she has the court cards all together. And then she has the majors all together. So for each of the minor cards, so for the Ace of Swords, she has a picture of the Rider Waite Smith Ace of Swords and a page and a half write up about the card. <coughs> Excuse me. And then a symbols on the Apes of Sword and what those symbols mean. And over the years, I have found this symbol section especially useful because I have decks other than the Rider Waite Smith. And once you know what those symbols generally symbolize, when you see them in another version of tarot, it's a clue of things to pay attention to. So there's a, for the Ace of Swords, there's more symbols. And then there's the Wizard's Words of Wisdom. What the Ace of Swords signifies in a reading. And then there's um, some journal questions. And then there's an affirmation. Um, and that's what the entire book is like. And I love this book because it is so straight, simple, and to the point. There is no fluff, there is no muff, there is no 101 other things about tarot, tangible things about tarot. It's just the cards at the Rider Waite Smith cards and their meanings and the symbology. And this that's why this is my go to tarot book. Um and because most other tarot decks today are pulling from the Rider Waite Smith, they just take the Rider Waite Smith and um, tweak it to their own aesthetic. 
Um, and because they all have the Rider Waite Smith as their base, um, it's easy to, like with this book, I can look at any, say, two of swords, and even though it doesn't look exactly like this, it's, it, this mean, this, her write up has what twos signify, what swords signify what um, other things come into play when you're looking at a two of swords. And with that knowledge, I can use that knowledge in any deck in my collection. So that is why the Madame Pamita Magical Tarot is my go-to tarot book. Um, this book has been in my collection. Well, at first, I just kept taking it out from the library over and over and over and over and over again. And, you know, at that point, I was just like, okay, you have taken out this book like six times. So clearly, I like this book and I should own it. So, um, and that's why I have it in hard copy instead of in digital copy. Um, because when I take it out from the library, I usually take out, always take out the digital copy. This, um, and the digital copy is great because you can search in the digital copy. Um, but that also meant that when I purchased the book, I was already very comfortable with the layout of the book. I knew where to find things in the book. And there are usually lots of little tabs and things in this book. And uh, I uh, recently took, I just before I did this, I took them all out. There's a little stack of um, little tags over here on my right hand side. I took them all out so that they wouldn't be a distraction for you. Um, but yes, Madame Pamita is my go-to tarot book. Um, the other thing about Madame Pamita is that she has a very um, large, huge, amazing YouTube channel. A, an amazing website as well. Um, she also has a free weekly clubhouse meeting where you can join her on YouTube and ask her questions directly. Um, and she does some sort of, well, she used to have guest speakers for her clubhouse meetings and in the last, I don't know, half year or so, she's been having um, various trainings where she will talk about something specific around magic or around tarot. And you can ask her questions and it's free. And I will, well, there is a link in the description box below of how to join Madame Pamita's free uh, weekly clubhouse Zoom meeting where you can hang out directly with Madame Pamita and uh, the other clubhouse members. So yes, so this is my go-to tarot book and the reason it is my go-to tarot book because it's just tarot. Nothing else, just tarot. And I love that about it. So that is me and my go-to tarot book for day 17. I will see you next time for day 18. Have a great day.